So earlier today, the Carolina Panthers released Cam Newton, and that's it. And you know what's sad? It's not even trending on Twitter. But have no fear, the top one percenter is here, the people sportscaster, doing what I fucking do best. So I will be giving Cam Newton the proper send-off that he deserves as you've entered the sports opinion lock here in Lex Anderson world. I'm Lex Anderson, said person. And if you're down with all things NFL, AFC, NFC, or maybe you're a Cam Newton fan who's wondering where will he be going next? Make sure you're doing the right thing. Subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon to stay notified for any and all upcoming future videos. And on your way back down, make sure you're liking this video and dropping a comment below letting me know where you stand on the matters of Cam Newton. Now, of course, it was a business move. It had to be done after the Carolina Panthers unceremoniously announced on social media that he's free to play with any other team. And the Panthers just couldn't find any suitors for Cam Newton, who unfortunately the last couple of years has been injury prone, rehabbing his shoulder and his foot. They inked Teddy Bridgewater three year, $63 million cap friendly deal. So they had to do what they had to do. They're only going to take a $2 million dead hit on their salary cap. So it all works out. But unfortunately, with coronavirus, Cam Newton can't practice, no facilities to go to. So he is currently on the outside looking in on the NFL. And how sad. But the truth is, is that Cam Newton, since 2015, when he was the MVP, has fallen to the wayside. The Panthers have been, from that point of 2015, between this video, 23 and 23. Cam Newton has missed 17 games, and they've had horrible endings to their previous respective seasons. So let me just break that down real quick for you. So last season, the Panthers were 4-2, and two, heading into their bye week in week seven, and ended the season going one for nine with eight straight losses. And the previous season, 2018, seven and nine, including seven straight losses between weeks 10 and week 16. So there you have it. Uh, there's talk of Cam Newton going to the Chicago Bears, but honestly, who cares? It's not even trending. But Cam Newton, let it be noted by the sports historian in the annals of sports history, what you accomplished with the Carolina Panthers when they drafted you number one pick first overall 2011, and during those nine years, you got, like I mentioned, the 2015 regular season MVP, 29,041 yards, most in Panthers history, 182 passing touchdowns, most in Panthers history, and 58 rushing touchdowns, most in Panthers history, and of course, the NFC Championship game. And let's not forget, Cam Newton also gave us the Superman pose. He gave us the dab. And he would give the football to a young fan. So Cam Newton, not every football player has, has a fairy tale ending. And the one thing I will remember you the most isn't what you accomplished on the field. It was that viral clip of you flying coach trying to buy the seat from a white man in first class. And he wouldn't give it to you. What a sad ending to what should have been a storied career. And he went back to his small little seat. For someone who's six foot five, what, 250, 280 plus pounds, that's pretty embarrassing. I would expect more from you, Cam Newton. You can't afford to fly with the team plane or private. That's all I got. Let me know how you're feeling. Lex Anderson, signing out.